hello guys so today is a beautiful sunday and i decided to make ox tail this is one of the best parts of the cow that i like to eat this is how it looks like when it is fresh if you want you can remove the fats but i'm not going to remove them because i would want them in my stew in a pan heated with some oil add your clean oxtails you can wash them with some lemon so that you kill the germs add them so i'm going to fry the oxtails until they are brown this is a very simple recipe so just keep around and follow the simple steps and you can make it at home in your own comfort while frying, just keep on changing on the other side. As you can see, they've started browning. Just let them cook until they are brown, like on all the sides. Uh, I prefer my fats on in this specific recipe because they give us a very creamy stew. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to add some tomato paste to the oxtails and then keep on frying for the tomato paste you can use about one tablespoon it will be enough you can substitute the tomato paste with ketchup as you can see they look yummy already so just keep on frying you want to lose the sweet tangy taste of the tomato paste you fry for about a minute And then I'm going to add the fresh ingredients. So I've added garlic. I crushed about three cloves of garlic, two medium sized onions, spring onions, carrots, fry shortly. And then I'm going to be adding the tomatoes after. Any fresh vegetable is welcome to this pan, but I'm not using green papers because they make the stew go bad very fast. So I've added two medium sized tomatoes and then fry shortly before you add your dry ingredients. What is stew without onions, garlic? I think it would be so tasteless. I've never had it, but I wouldn't want to taste it. So that is coriander powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder. Half a teaspoon of black paper. One tablespoon of beef curry powder. So now our oxtails are perfectly seasoned. Just keep on mixing so that all the ingredients mix with the meat. As you can see, they, they look very good. They're brown enough and they look yummy already before they've been cooked. So just add salt to the pan. So this pan of mine is a bit small. I just needed a nonstick pan to fry them. I'm going to change into a bigger pan Yes, yeah, so just change in case uh, you like to start the whole process in one single pan. You can do that, but me, I wanted to use the nonstick pan to fry the oxtails. I'm adding some stock to the pan. I wouldn't want to use water because the flavor wouldn't be the same. Stock would do very well. 
so just let the oxtails boil for about an hour and then let them simmer on low heat for another one hour to get all the flavors and all the ingredients in the stew so it's time for me to serve and eat and this is how my oxtails came out they look very soft and appetizing of course and my stew is so tasty <laughs>